Hello mga kawamat, in this video lesson, we will discuss how to analyze your data using percentage. In mathematics, percentage are used to like fractions and decimals as ways to describe parts of a whole. When you are using percentage, the whole is considered to be made up of a hundred equal parts. So the symbol or this percent sign is used to show that a number is a percentage and less commonly the abbreviation PCT may be used. So by using the formula, so ito yung gagamitin natin formula to compute the percentage F over N where this one is the percent sign for the percentage. This sim uh, F stands for the frequency or the num total number of uh, items. And N is the total number of population. So for example, an information sheet is distributed to 300 junior and senior high school students of a certain school to gather data on the background of the students in terms of gender, strength, and socioeconomic status as measured by monthly family income. A profile analysis of the student's background is provided for each tabular presentation of the profile variables to illustrate textual analysis. So for the first table, the profile of the students according to gender. So the frequency for male is 120 and for female is 180. So we're going to compute the percentage. So by using the formula, for male, that is 120 over 300 kasi the total uh, respondents from junior and senior high school is 300. So 120 divided by 300 times 100 and that is 40%. So yung 40% ilalagay natin dito. And then for female, 180 Okay, over 300 times 100, that is 60%. So, if we're going to check and add 40 plus 60, that is 100%. So, ganito natin ilagay o i-present yung data. And uh, by using the percentage, we can analyze the table. So, pwede a short narrative uh, interpretation ang ilagay natin. So, pwede natin ilagay. So, by using this table, among the 300 respondents, 120 or 40% are males and 180 or 60% are females. Okay, for table number 2, profile of students according to strand. So, we have STEM, HUMES. ABM, GAS, TVL, and the total number of respondents. So, this is the uh, division of the respondents for the different strand. So, as you can see, class, yung na-discuss natin, yung parts ng table, dapat may table number, title, and then yung header natin, and then yung classifier. So, we're going to compute now the percentage of each strand. So first, the stem with 60 respondents. So 60 divide 300 times 100. So you can use your calculator na dito. No? Pwede nang i-direct nyo to sa calculator. And that is 20%. So ibig sabihin, 20% uh, of the respondents is uh, from stem strand. Next is humes. So yung humes ay merong 54 so, 54 divided by 300 times 100, the answer is 18%. So, 18% of the respondent is from Hume strand. Next is the ABM and ABM with 51 respondents. So, 51 divided by 300 times 100, the answer is 17%. So, pwede nyo i-double check itong computation natin ha, using the, your calculator. So, 17% of the respondent is from ABM or 51. And 45 is from GAS. So, 45 respondents is from GAS. So, 45 divided 300 times 100. The answer is 
15%. And as you can see, class, itong apat na to, oh no, this uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, so yung STEM, HUMES, ABM, and GAS, that is an academic track. No? Yung apat na to is academic track. So, itong TVL, so this is the Technical Vocational Livelihood, so it's comprised na maraming galing sa TVL. So, 90. So, 90 divide 300 times 100, the answer is 30%. So, makikita natin na pinakamaraming respondents ay galing sa TVL. So, to check, kailangan mag-total ito ng 100%. If you're going to add 20 plus 18 plus 17 plus 15 plus 30, dapat ang total niya is 100%. So, if we're going to analyze the data presented, so pwede natin sabihin, of the survey 300 respondents, 60 or 20% are in STEM, 54 or 18% are in HUMES, 51 or 17% are in ABM, and 45 or 15% are in GAS. So these respondents are from academic track. And... The last one, 90 or 30% are in TVL. Uh, the last table is the profile of the student's economic status based on monthly family income. Okay, so pinaghiwalay yung males and females. So, uh, dinivide yung socioeconomic status in three categories. So, meron tayong below average, average or yung nasa middle class. And then the above average. So for male, sa below average meron tayong 30, sa females 45. Sa average naman, 66 yung male and sa females 108. And then for above average, sa male 24 and for female 27. So this is the monthly, uh, no, the average monthly income ng family nila. Okay, so can categorize sila sa ganon. So, we're going to compute the percentage. Okay, ilang percent? So, from the 120 na boys, so, ilang percent yung 30 sa below average? So, using your uh, using the formula kanina, no, 30 divide 120 times 100, makukuha nyo dyan, 25%. And for 66, okay, yung 66 na boys, na fall under average or in the middle class, ilang percent yan? So, 66 divide 120 times 100. So, the answer is 55%. So, again, class, pwede nyo yan i-double check. Okay? And for the above average, 24 divide 120 times 100. The answer is 20%. So, if we're going to add 25 plus 55 plus 20, the answer is 100%. Next is for female. Okay, so ilang percent yung 45 out of 180 na babae? So 45 divide 180 times 100. The answer is 25% also. And for 108, that is 60%. For 27, that is 15%. And then we're going to add 25 plus 60 plus 15, that is 100%. For the total respondents, okay, yung combine na yung male and female, sa below average, merong 75. So, yung 75, that is 25% of the total respondents. And for average or for the middle class, meron tayong 174. And that is 58%. As you can see, half of the respondents, no? ay nasa average or nasa middle class. And 51 out of 300, that is the above average, so 17%. So if we're going to try to add 25 plus 58 plus 17, that's still 100%. So the student's socioeconomic status based on the monthly family income are categorized into three groups. Above average, average, and below average. Those students whose combined monthly family income falls in the below average category consists of 75 or 25% of the respondents. So, there are 174 
or 58% whose combined monthly family income falls on the average or middle bracket. And the remaining 17% or 51 falls on the above average combined monthly family income. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you learned something. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell button para updated kayo for more video tutorial. This is your guide in learning your math lesson, your WOW Math channel.